Welcome back to Bradley. No, no. Anyway, in, in the bottom left, we have your Zerg hero of 2,000 atmospheres. Not moving his overlord, but pumping out the drones and ready to scout. Give it up. Or give something. Give your energy. Give your likes. Give your subscribes. And give uh, some optimism. For Tonzo. In the top right is who? The Blue Terran. SCV spotted the drone. Already off to a strong start. Drone hiding in the base. SCV scours for it. I believe these are actually silver players. Full disclosure, the battle, wait. It could all be decided here. The fight, the SCV! First blood. The drone executed. The build, Ladies not and gentlemen, so much. We got him. Yes, in a 1v1 without the drone regenerating, the SCV just kind of wins, but it could have gone either way. They both could have tried to micro. And who knows how that could have ended. <laughs> what was I saying? They are silver leaguers. For those who don't know, because of many quirks and, and other exciting but confusing things, Silver League is actually more Bronze League than the Bronze League itself. And Bronze League Heroes, as always. Um been about the essence and the spirit of Bronze League Heroes. But at this point, these two showing so far, like, it's we're 12 years into StarCraft 2. You have to go out of your way to both be able to send a replay in. I'm not sure who sent this in. We might know by the end. Just take your guesses. Um, you'd have to put a lot of effort into know how to send in a replay and learning very little else. Uh, that has always been a barrier to entry, much like this wall-off early on is a barrier to entry once he executed the drone. A perfect segue, just like the perfect segue of who into another command center. The center of the map right now is empty, but what isn't empty is the production tab, which has drones and metabolic boost, which will boost his economy almost as much as mules are not on the other side of the map as there is no orbital command but you know the most important building is queued up the engineering bay and a fusion core <laughs> not necessarily in that order fusion core wow that was quick oh we're loading up Everyone knows how dangerous it is to walk outside. There are Zerglings out there. Instead, why waste the opportunity to use the command center's incredibly useful load up function to bring those SCVs? The Zergling's a little too slow. We'll have to chew on the doorstep. The SCV's safe inside for the time being. Well, pops out tank. Oh, there's a tank. The SCVs on auto repair. We'll make sure to finish things up. Will they? Wait, are they on auto repair? No. They actually don't help each other out. There's a lot of uh, domestic strife here, but it's Terran, so. A medevac. I'm interested to see what that's for. The fusion core is complete. And that means our very first. Bup, 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 bup. But, 
Armory! Yes! And missile turrets! You right on the tip of my tongue. The whole time. The TPM begins to raise. As the as SCVs are con I think one SCV has the license for turrets. Really, they might want to rethink that monopoly. They might want to let more than one SCV be contracted out for those turrets. We see this a lot. Um, but at SCV a bit greedy. It's time for a ba -ba -ba battle cruiser! From who? Yes. Meanwhile, Tonzo with What's going on here? We got a hatch. We got a roach one. We got a baneling nest. We got 48 drones. We got some creep spread, some larva injects, some upgrades. A suspiciously standard looking build from Donzo. But on the other side, who? With Neo Steel armor. Defense on the ground and superiority in the sky. Yamato Cannon in Neo Steel Armor. Check those off your bingo card. If you had that Powerball, make sure to cash it in while you still can. I think a surprising amount of people might be hitting the jackpot on that. The first two upgrades for who? Neo Steel Armor and Weapon Refit, a.k.a. Yamato Cannon, which I've never known why. It, it, like, there's only one weapon they refit. It's not even a refit. You just add it. You just add it. It's already designed. You look at the little tube in the center. That's when it lights up the Yamato cat. It was designed to hold a Yamato king. Uh, Terran bureaucracy aside. Both players have kind of gone about their business. Tanzo with 67 drones. He hasn't been building too many queens. Only five hits. 72 drones. Okay, calm down, Dark. He does have... Oh, we lost him. Okay, he's checking the Prima strategy guide. He's never gotten this far before. 80 average eight APMs. Who? Uh, with a comfortable 36. Oh, he's back. 34 more Zerglings. That'll probably do it. Now that he's reached the Zergling count. He goes for it. Neil Steel Armor finishing up, though. The bunker! Oh, the super bunker. And so far, 24 Zerglings and a drone to zero resources lost. Tanzo, that first round didn't quite cut it. But if Angry Coach has been any indicator, a second round might do it. Well, this time, oh no, the first losses. A handful of marines, probably more to the siege tanks. So far, 58 Zerglings. The battlecruiser is revealed. A second one. Ah, yes, the classic battlecruiser docking maneuver. A super cruiser. More drones. Tonzo. Burrow. Roach speed. Mainling speed. He already got overlord speed. Zergling speed. Hydras also have a speed upgrade. Another hatchery. An infestation pit. A nidus network. What other buttons haven't we pressed? A very good question. A spire. Ah, yes. How could I forget? High sec auto tracking next up on the agenda. As well as mech armor as who... Takes a more circuitous path. Has plus two ship weapons and plus one mech weapons queued up. He, uh... Now building his second starport, which will double his production rate of battlecruisers. Assuming he has the resources and doesn't queue up enough turrets. He jumps into the corner where the SCV, which is out here, has spotted a hatchery. And begins to unleash those laser batteries. Yamato is online as well. He's working his way. He sees another hatch. That SCV scout has at the spotter clearing the path. Tanzo. 14 more drones. He spends a lot of drones building every single tech build. He's got a tech bush right now. It's just expanding in every direction. 
Uh, who with the obvious third base, which is the top left corner. Check that one off your bingo squares. Like, whatever's in the top left corner, that's now a free space for you. Zerglings. A much larger group this time. Maybe this'll do it. The Zergling close the distance. The bunker under siege. The siege tanks also sieging. A lot of siege-related activities. All marines and Zerglings will be obliterated. Cleansing the field of malleable organic flesh and cold, hard, unforgiving steel. Neo-steel, actually, will survive. The battlecruiser's still uncontested, but some corruptor is on the way. Corruptor's designed for this task. In fact, that's really all they do is kill things like battlecruisers. And also cost a lot of money and, and remind you that not just mutas exist. Another hatch and another hatch. Looks like a low APM challenge enthusiast understanding that you have the money, you need the hatches. Though this is... Quite a hatchery spread. The biters are beginning to expand. The tactical jump into the main, the heart of the swarm, and there's no defenses. Yamato onto the lair! Oh, just jumps in! Oh, the corruptors were late on the draw. Unfortunately, the battle cruisers. Yeah, the corrupt. Well, he gets the lair. That's. There's still plenty of corruptors here. Unfortunately, when you jump in, you can't jump out. Not a miracle worker. The 3x3 three three depot square has completed. I will see if he wants to expand his depot production soon. Tanzo rebuilding his main. A Nidus, but a macro Nidus. Sansa has learned his last six more hatcheries on the way. And uh, we have a classical exchange. We have Hanzo, who after some hard-fought attempts, and by that I mean just A-moving Zerglings, has decided to try everything else. Um, a lot of Zerg players do end up finding themselves in this position of well, I already wasted hundreds of Zerglings. The Corruptors are the choice. There are Widow Mines on the way here for who? He is mining. He's adding more turrets to the top left outpost. There's Neural Parasite. Because if you can't beat them, your best chance might be hiring them. I'm, I'm surprised you're able to get that upgrade without having a lair done. Wait, does he have a lair? No, he did not rebuild. He has 12 hatcheries, but a lair ain't one. Yeah, just <laughs> 13 hatcheries. Um, yeah, for those who don't know, you can't get the Hydra upgrades without having a lair. So I just kind of assume for some reason. The rocks are next on the agenda. The Zerglings will chew on them. This SCV... A little suspiciously transferring. The Zerglings intent on their task will not notice as the SCV phases through them like a bad dream. I think who noticed? Let's go to the Who action cam. <laughs> yeah, I, I had to. I made sure. Who called in the fleet? Ah! Well said, Battle Cruiser. <laughs> well, looks like the ticket's gonna be another few dozen Zerglings here. 126 Zerglings and 24 Corruptors. The Battle Cruisers made their way to the outpost. Tactical jump is online. The Corruptors! Uh, one Battle Cruiser knocked down. Ah, oh, that's a lot of Zerglings. Finds the planetary. The upgrades plus one attack. That's a Neo Steel Planetary. 20 kills. The turret's still going to work. He right clicked on it. They're 40 kills. Wow, armor, those armor upgrades. 50 kills. 
The turrets! Oh, he's chasing over the turrets, so the corruptor count isn't enough! 75! And he backs off! The caustic spray on the corruptors if he just took down the turrets, but no! Tanzo met with an unstoppable force. Tries his very movable objects. 66 more Zerglings might do it, though. 226 down thus far. How many corruptors? 11 corruptors. Which isn't as bad as it could have been. The planetary will be repaired. Who has expanded to the other obvious expansion? That's now a free space on your bingo square. The queens creeping forward, as they do. The hatchery is not quite rallied out yet. A lair has been rebuilt, but a hive is yet to join the agenda. The Widow Mines on the march. It's time for some Minecraft. Everybody loves a little bit of Minecraft. Maybe not Zergman. And there is, of course, an armory that has been working overtime to upgrade everything. <laughs> uh, and has made its way through. In fact, we have plus one, plus one for infantry as well. I guess technically there is infantry here for who? Zerglings have been rebuilt. And, well, the siege can continue. A hive, though. What is the drone count? 74. Neither player really maxed out yet. The queens creeping forward. The battle cruisers. The depot square. You gotta lift the main so that way you can fit more depots there. What are you doing, who? Think about this. The zoning regulations. It's, it's, it's asymmetrical. That's gonna ruin your efficiency. The turret wall. One of the more confusing things to have as a wall. The mines are now on the creep, but the creep wasn't here when they got there, and they haven't been spotted yet. A lunker den. Mm -hmm. He does show. So far, we've been playing essentially Brood War Zerg. Yes, yeah, so substitute, like, corruptors for devourers. And we're going to continue down that route, at least so far. We got Zerglings. Got Corruptors. A Lurker Den. Ultralisk Cavern. Oh, you know, what else don't we have? There aren't that many Hive Tech buildings. When you think about it. It's more the actual tech itself. I, I do like the spacing here. Oh, a Greater Spire. I forgot again! Oh, my. Of course. I think he was uh, looking down the list there, checking him off, get his notepad out. Oh. As both players, the tension mounts as the builds and supplies grow. Approaching 200 are both sides, by the way. The queen's about to discover the mines. The mines happy to oblige. Brenda! Oh, where did they come from? Blue. Remember when we got Burrow Moon for the Roach? It? Shh. Shh. The enemies are in the sky, Susan. So, Zerglings. Uh. <laughs> the planetary. 100 kills. 110. The turrets racking up more. 122. I'm just going to keep saying the number. 132. 138. It's getting six per shot. And and some more here. But the turrets were torn down at the surface. 160. It's starting to fall. Where are the battle cruisers? Who needs to call in the fleet? Because who is losing this? 180. 186. 190. What? No! So close. A uh, scan, though. I have no idea where that scan is. Okay. I mean, uh, it's anyone's guess. I think we just got, whenever you hear a scan, we're just going to go to the Who cam. Because I have, it's impossible to predict. The battle cruisers jump in in tactical block formation. 
This way, it's impossible for the opponent to micro as they can't see their own units. 44 Corruptors are in production, because he did lose every Corruptor to the turrets. That should be enough to deal with these Battlecruisers, but we'll see how much the Battlecruisers are able to deal with themselves. The Corruptors are coming out somewhat piecemeal. The Battlecruiser count is not high enough, though. Yamato Cannon is technically online, but he's keeping his powder dry. Which is very hard to do on 2,000 Atmospheres. Oh no. There are too many. Though, the Corruptors chasing have a tough time. The Battlecruisers fighting a rear guard action. Loses most of them. The Corruptors wary of going too far. A bit of overkill on the Yamato Cannon, but absolutely obliterates a... Of all the things to use the Yamato on, this feels like maybe a misappropriation of resources here. But there's no such thing in the Terran army. Oh my. Well, the Corruptor Swarm closes in. A Congress of Corruptors. The turret perimeter holds for now. There's not many turrets at the natural, but there's not much else at the natural either. So, who has one and a half bases? Tanzo has less than you'd expect, but more than he needs. And the standoff will continue. Tanzo definitely taking the win on this last exchange, but overall, the resources lost. Pay okay, wait. Upgrade complete. You know, an interesting call. He re-jumps, fires the Yamato, takes a chunk out of the hatch. Two more Yamatos. And a lot of drones are dying. The Corruptors are heading back. Deja vu. I've just been in this base before. Dropping battle cruisers and losing two Corruptors. Well, so... Well, uh, <laughs> here we are. So now, Tanzo has 94 supply of Corruptors. Which is 94 out of 98 of his army supply. There are 20 turrets on the field. Wait a second. And who, with the ultimate tech switch, has been building marines this whole time? With some upgrades. Which gives him a superior army. Currently, in a straight-up fight, by a technical knockout, whose army wins? It's unclear whether Tanzo knows how to use the Caustic Spray. It's a little, uh, like much of the Corruptor unit. It is difficult to use effectively. There is a Greater Spire. Broodlords are on the table if he remembers them. More drones on the way. Who is... Building the tet the Chevron turret formation, well known as a optimum defensive posture for people who like looking real fucking cool. The Widow Mine still intact. Twenty six more drones for Donzo, and the rest of the hatcheries. Though has, uh, whoa, he's going to, he's trying to run the turret gauntlet. Unfortunately, they can't fly or swim higher. It's more of a swimming motion. They should be, they should move faster. Well, yep, that's turrets as well. You know who? Everyone laughed. But building the turrets at the back seems to have paid off. The caustic spray being used, he has learned it. He tried to circumvent the defensive perimeter, but the perimeter is uh fully spanned the base here are the battle cruisers but the marines the corruptors into the chevron more like a triangle uh scan the main the vendaya scan yep that's 
There's a lot going on there, and you heard the you heard it. There's the jump. Only two battle cruisers. The Marines are encouraging the corruptors. Oh, what a bait and switch! The corruptors looking away as the battle cruisers duck, gut, duck? No, not duck. Gut the tech tree. Of course, two battle cruisers not like a, a huge amount of damage, but they're getting there. They're working on it. Panzo still hasn't made it past the plus two upgrades. In fact, plus two carapace is not done. Tanzo is panicking. The Corruptors scramble back. There are no ground units. There are eight Zerglings. That's it. The Marine, get out of the, down in front. Down in front. Well, the Marines are ready for action. Um, they're just, uh, keep, well, they are the Corruptors. Trying to cover for the Zerglings. Zerglings popping out. The Corruptors, nothing to shoot. They're absorbing the bullets, so that way the Marines can run out of ammo before they get to the rest of the hatcheries. More Zerglings on the way. They only have plus two, plus one against two, two. Wait, actually, they both have plus two, plus one on the ground. The Marines just A clicking across. The Corruptors waiting for an opportunity to do something. The Zerglings trickling out from surprisingly well-spread hatcheries. Unlike Creep, you don't really benefit from it. The Zerglings chewing through some of the Marines. I called for reinforcement. Where are my damn reinforcement? Where are my siege tanks? No siege tanks to be found. They're all, everyone knows those are house tanks. Okay, house tanks are decorative only. And they are not allowed to move out of the main. 50 more Zerglings on the way. He's deep onto the creep. One spot of valiant terror against the overwhelming, oppressive, and all-encompassing Zerg. A medevac. Not here to help them escape, but here to help them press forward. One medevac. A lot of work to do. The Zerglings, though. 136... Is stim done? There is no stim. This is a, a drug-free zone. No banelings, no stim. All natural, the Marines hold the line. The medevac, the Corruptors find an opportunity. The Zerglings are too many. And who is wiped from the field as Tanzo replenishes that army? 490 Zerglings have fallen. But more than enough money to replace them. Even taking that top left base is Tonzo. Plus three infantry weapons and ship weapons. <laughs> or no, wait, mech armor. I'm sorry. The hatchery count is currently 13. One hive. Well, 13 and a hive. So 14 hatcheries. There are zero queens. As they were murdered about as hard as anything has ever gotten murdered. By overwhelming damage via Yamato Cannon. Who's expanding? He's kept... In all his infinite wisdom, he's kept those easy-to-take resources for later in the game. Because if you mine the resources further from your base earlier, then later on, you're actually more efficient. Because it's easier to defend the areas closer to your base. So who, once again, putting his efficiency strats to use... Mech armor completing. The turrets. We got 31. The TPM is all over the place. He's lost only 13. Actually, we're at almost 2 TPM. And we're 30 minutes into the match. And no closer to a conclusion. Well, here come the swarm. Still, no plus 3 upgrades. Plus 3 flyer attack. He heads to the natural. The siege tanks unload. The planetary contributes the Neo Steel armor. The Corruptor's trying to caustic spray, but the Marines battle cruiser has arrived. Oh, the seabed runs red with the blood of Zerglings. 
When a vibe's connect and the corruptors are knocked from the sky. And the Zerg swarm is eliminated. Tanzo plummets to 76 supply. He's now lost 600 Zerglings, 20,000 more minerals, and like 600 more gas. He's mined about 30k more resources, and I think at the end of the day, we will see Tanzo. I, I'm fully expecting us to figure out exactly how many resources can be mined on this map. And I fully expect Tanzo will have a higher count at the end. <gasps> the roaches. The unspeakable tech switch. After all this time. Roaches. Principles. And unit composition thrown out the window with those several hundred zerglings. The burrow move roaches. The upgrades tab is pretty much near 100%. Um, besides the basic upgrades, I couldn't tell you what we're missing, if anything. Uh, upgrade. I, this is the upgrade tab challenge, all right? Read along with me. Roach speed, burrow move, ultra armor. Actually, no, we'll say the real names. That way, uh, that way, like, only real gamers know the real names. We got Gleal Reconstitution, Tunneling Claws, Chitinous Plating, Pneumatized Carapace, Burrow, Metabolic Boost, Pathogen Gland, Centrifugal Hooks, Plus Two Melee Attack, Plus Two Missile Attack, Plus One Carapace, Plus Two Flyer Carapace, Plus Three Flyer Attack, Anabolic Synthesis, Neural Parasite, Seismic Spines, Grooved spines, groovy spines, muscular augments, and adaptive talons. And how many of them will help? The roach is trying to burrow underneath the planetary. It doesn't work out. The battle cruisers jump to the top left. The roaches are not an answer. There is no anti air. The battle cruisers once again reign supreme in the sky, and the Zerg have nothing with which to match them. But the only detection is provided by turrets for the most part. Tanzo could build a new civilization from scratch, but instead he's got 15k, 15k, which is, oh my, he makes a choice. Mutas, which are definitely one of the units that Zerg has. And it is actually the only unit he has fully upgraded. I may, just for our dear viewer out there, remind you to like, subscribe, and that Widow Mines exist. The battle cruisers jump to the bottom right. At this point, you might question why they're using tactical jump and not flying, but it's way more dramatic this way. The Mutas. On the field. The battle cruisers. Oh, the shift queue. Who at zero APM? Because he already knows the battle cruisers are good enough. Yamato! Wait, he goes for the hatchery. Not entirely convinced that that well, you know what, Costa, it's about it's about sending a message. The Mutas do win the day. The, oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, well, it's happening. Oh! Oh! <laughs> you couldn't have scripted that more perfectly. The little minds obliterate and decimate the Mutalisks. And the turrets finish them off. The roaches and corruptors, marines still on the field. Oh, 
the mines which were never really noticed in the turret line. Oh my. Tower defense barely begins to describe it. What's the next wave? He's remaking his ultra- oh my god, the main base- wait, there are two lurker dens. Um... Ultraless Cavern. But oh my god, who is maxed out? He has... 76 fully operational Terran Marines. And it takes at least that many to take down one Zerg egg. That wow, has a lot of armor. <laughs> I don't know. The Macronitis. Well, the Zerglings are on the way. No Banelings. The Zerglings are barely scratching the Marine. The combat shield's holding strong. One Medivac. The, the roaches waiting for their moment. Deciding this is not that moment. Banelings! And he, he had a Baneling nest throughout all this. But as he works his way through the options, adapting not very quickly, but quickly enough, the Marina Baneling! <laughs> If I hadn't watched this entire game, you can't scr you can't write. <laughs> uh, the battle cruisers to the top left. Twenty six more corruptors in production. It's all starting to blend together in so many more dramatic ways. As, as we kind of shift in and out of air superiority, back to the ground and back to the skies. Wow, they're both so tanky. Plus three armor for both sides. Using the Yamato cannons against the Corruptors. Battle Cruiser knocked out. The unit's lost tab. Tanzo has lost 34,000 more minerals and 3,000 more gas. He's mined only 26,000 more minerals, but he has mined. 13,000 more gas, which is not a small amount. Who has found some minerals and he will work to acquire them? <laughs> 20. Well, it appears we've uh, crossed more units off the list. And now in production, we have Medivac Speed. Stim pack and 22 infestors. <laughs> Which is uh, not the combination I would usually expect. Is that the, a hydralisk? The battlecruisers jump yet again. I have no idea how many times this is. Neural parasite is done, but. Uh. Who has ended up mining most of his first five bases in a dramatic turn? He's managed, well, all the infestors not quite finding the value they were looking for here. The corruptors, on the other hand, doing what they do best. Well, three, three infestors. <laughs> um, now, now we find out how many of those infestor abilities he is, uh, trained to use. This should be... different. 28 drones left. Tanzo is out of minerals. Which... 
I wouldn't have put odds on that one. So here we are. The minerals on the map running dry, but not nearly as quick as they could. Marines on crepe. Let's go to the Tanzo action cam. He's <laughs> building drones and rallying them to a dead hatchery. It appears all those hatchery snipes have taken their toll. A creep tumor is under attack. Oh. He spots the army. Okay. A creep tumor is under Panic. attack. There's a lack of. Hey, find the burrow key! Unfortunately, the roaches are kind of getting in the way. The infestors on the move. Mineral field depleted. The action heats up. Tanzo 144 supply. He looks at he he's click what haven't we clicked yet? That's a good question, Tanzo. As he narrows down the upgrades he hasn't yet gotten. That they that everybody's on their way. The roach is on burrow! The investor's also on burrow. And this runway showcase. Well, the Marine shut down. Those infestors are now at full energy, which means they have a lot of options. Those Whittle Mines still undetected. Oh, no. SCV. Who is expanding yet again? This base has been mined out for quite a time now. So the Whittle Mines are not really... There's there's 300 gas, like 700 gas, like 700 minerals. There's really only one real base left for who to mine from. And he's taking it right now. It's up to Tonzo to stop him. Can he? The Marines... The, uh, another turret wall coming together. Who actually has money in the bank? He's been remarkably efficient, if only by process of elimination. Uh. Oh wow, the battle cruiser count is, I think, the highest. Eight battle cruisers. How many has he lost? He has lost thirty-seven battle cruisers, which, you know, is is not a small number. <laughs> Well, both players consolidating two Ultralisks, which is, uh, we haven't yet found those yet. So, still no plus three carapace to fill out the upgrades tab. Escape, you know what? Don't do it. There is, he's like, he's like a seven second flight away. Everyone! Fire everything! Well, once again, who with a... Now oh, the Corruptors are fighting. The Infestors! The Infestors can speak... Oh, he lands a fungal! Beautiful fungal! Another one! And then, but, there's a lot going on, so... Oh, no! No, no, no! He's going too far! It's too far! Oh, he's... he's dead. As you can tell, a bit of a, a stressful situation for both sides. As they both struggle to move their units. There is currently zero gas income for Tonzo. Does he have any more? There's 800, 900, 50. Now there's still several thousand. There's actually, okay, there's 200, there's 500 left here. Yeah, he's got like 5,000 left. 
Oh, the burrow roaches. Maybe this time. Maybe this time. No, no. No, no. And the burrowed infestors. Neural parasite those marines. So chaos in the ranks. Oh my god. Tension. Carbot, get him on the phone! No! I don't... I'm hyperventilating. I... It happened. Ah! Brother! Ah, uh, who is trying to rack his brain for what sort of crazy parasites is running through his ranks? He retreats his army, fearing infection, which surprisingly accurate response, but for many reasons that he obviously clearly does not understand. The only reaction, of course, is just to the man in your bottom of the hive. Overwhelming response. Unfortunately, much like the first 50 or so battle cruisers, these ones will die to corruptors. <laughs> um I okay. The wreckage, yeah, 47 battle cruisers now. 99 corruptors. The rest of the army was also a move there. Uh, as both these players are now well past the extreme limits of their experience, and we are in incredibly uncharted waters. And it's the Bermuda Triangle of, of tactics now. Nobody knows what happens there. I mean, you could scan it, but that would be boring. And also, nobody thought of that, apparently, so. We have both sides mining from the bottom right base with the handful of work. Um, a surprising bit of, uh... Oh, the, wait, I don't know where the drones are going. Only 18 drones left. 50 dead battle, 300 supply of battle cruisers. Five ultras and plus three carapace. Wow, the army supply. 158. The army value, 6,4700. ,400. Who has run out of gas? How many battle cruisers has he been able to scrap together? This may be the last cruiser. Oh! Somebody unburrowed. Ah! You scared me. Alright, back to the Tonzo action camp. One infester. Oh. Also, everyone else. That's a lot of marines. Those are fully up... Well, actually, they don't have plus three carapace, but those are ultras. The infestors, also involved. Well, the marines are taking care of a lot of that. Eventually, the fungals come out. So, a bit of a... An ultra on the planetary. Kind of took the wrong path there. A diet upgrade would be nice. Or downgrade. I'm not sure which one. Depends who you ask, really. So, nine more infestors and three more battle cruisers. That is the answer. The supply is uncomfortably even. The minerals starting to dry up. 
the conclusion of the match impossible to determine. The main base still well defended. He jumps! If you eliminate all of their buildings, that's how you win the game of StarCraft. Everyone knows that. Unfortunately, the hatchery not focused. Ah! CV is still mining those precious, precious. There's 115 minerals left. 53 battle cruisers. Is this. It's out of gas. Who? Out of gas. How many here? A thousand. Two thousand gas left in the tank. And then there's another two thousand over here. A few more SUVs being sent. I don't know where he got that. There's still a, a dozen or so in reserve. The Marines on the move. The hatchery will be finished off. The entire massive Zerg army will respond. The hatchery still intact. The hatchery! He gets it! And some might ask, at what cost? And the answer is, it was worth it. Yes, Tonto rebuilds it for 300 minerals, but who's counting? And at this point, I'm not convinced that mining quicker is necessarily a good thing. Oh no. It appears Tonzo is ready to attack the last bastion. And the first bastion. Actually, no. I'm gonna try to flank. I don't know how many tries he's made. The, the planetary has 60 kills. Tank, 58, 40 kills. Over 100 kills on these defenses that have been here for the better part of an hour. Now, the SCVs are long distance mining whatever minerals. A scan. Uh... Misses the mark. Broodlords and lurkers! Oh, he forgot to flip to the final page of the Prima strategy guide. Probably the most important one. The lurkers. With their upgrades. Not those spines are very slow when you look at them like this. Well. That is not good for the Marines. Yep, those are lurkers. Oh, here we go! What could be the final battle? Thunkles across the board! Battle cruisers held down tank shelling! Broodlord! Neuroparasite! He turns the battle cruisers against him! Finally! One of the first successful battle cruiser fights, and it's for Zerg! But he goes out of range of the Neural! And the Corruptors! The only anti air! He leans too far into the turrets! Not all the Corruptors were involved! The tanks! Well, another no! He may not know how to friendly fire it! He's... He... Oh, no, he jumps! Wait, Yamato! Ah! Oh, Yamato's... Uh, oh, that is... <laughs> he was looking for the buttons! So, at the end of the day, Tanzo, with more supply, still inconclusive, as he doesn't really... He doesn't... Okay, he builds three more Ultras, which is definitely... He's got ten Infestors in there. It's just kind of hard to tell, because the Zerg... conglomeration here is, um... <clears throat> quite broody. Oh! Only one of the hero tanks survived. One of them taken down. Maybe by the battle cruisers. Tanzo realizes that attacking the most entrenched position on the map, maybe, just maybe, might not be the ideal choice. Hard won experience. 
the SCVs scouring for minerals. This will end the minerals on... Actually, all the minerals are in the top left quadrant. That's all that's left. There's several thousand minerals up there. Sounds like a lot. You know how many battle cruisers several thousand minerals is? I'm sure we'll find out. A s oh no. A scan. Don't do it. He sees no drones. But there are two gas geysers with several hundred gas. So, you must have the minerals with which to refine said gas, though. Important to note. The production tab is now empty. The ape who issued his move command and his work here is done. The lurkers! Still. Battlecruiser, one battlecruiser will take care of this. The SCV. No, God! Oh, my God! The A move a bit much. He does manage to free up all that extra supply. Tonzo consolidating. The Widowmon's on the move. They've had incredible effect throughout this series. Hanzo, he... He grabs the medevac. Unfortunately, that infester was in detection range and just kind of died. Who figured it out? Scans! The Ventria scan. He made sure that he had it. Whatever happened to those mines? I have no idea where those... Oh, they're down here. Five Marines in production. They both still have some money. Oh, not again. The Widow Bonds! There's no detection. I don't know if he knows fungal. The the corruptors slammed. Not most of them not killed. A very lucky break. The widow mines. They haven't racked up that many kills, but the in amount of damage they've done. Has he made an overseer this game? He has not yet lost any overseers. So we're gonna have to flip to the appendix on detection here. Um, both sides mining out. Is that the last minerals? Who has? There's. Okay. The we're down to a single digit number of mineral patches. He's just. He's, <laughs> How did it come to this? It's been a long, arduous. Uh, intermittent, confusing, desperate, inspiring, exhilarating, excruciating, exhausting journey. But, in just a couple minutes at this rate, there will be no more minerals. Just a, almost exactly the one hour mark. Unfortunately, these patches are going to linger a little longer. How far? 43,000, 19,000 for who? Lost. 67k, 27k mine. 67, 21, and 91, 36 for Tanzo. The Broodlings nibbling on the SCVs. Another patch. Mining out. Tanzo. Spreading creep. The APMs. Zero. Another patch gone. 
There are only two more mineral patches. There is still... There's 34 gas, 250... There's actually 2,000 gas over here. This is out. This has 30. This has 150, but only because he's at one out of three. There's... These two gases, which everyone has forgotten about. There's this, which is irrelevant. And then... Well, so it appears the number is approximately uh, it's near to, not 200,000, 300,000 resources. 200, you know what? Somebody else can do math. I'm not here. This isn't Factorio yet. The Vendaya scan. Not even entirely sure what he's looking for, but the battlecruisers found it. The SCVs! WAR! The peace treaty, the armistice ends at one hour. Oh wait, there's still some minerals over here, never mind. I mean like 500, but... <laughs> These center-rich Vespine bases. It's still, these are both very capable armies. They are both very capable of losing to each other. Oh my god. We lost both of them. Neither side has a clear winning army, because there's still like 80 supply in the main. And remember, a draw is always possible. When nobody is mining and no buildings are killed, a draw timer starts after a couple minutes. And... Eventually that means all the buildings will be killed, or we will not have a win. Well, speaking of building killing, the Ultras, at great cost, well, tanks on the high ground, chewing through some more. That base removed. Tanzo losing some of his precious few minerals. Even repairing. Repairing costs one quarter the price it costs to build a unit. So it is cheaper to repair, but it isn't free. The creep is spreading now after an hour to the natural. Select all army. Everyone who can move is. The marine count. 97 against five ultralists, but many badly bruised. Nine infestors fully capable of wiping out all those marines. A scan. It is who? Who attacked? He tries to bait the Zerg into the Widow Mines. Will be successful. And with that softening up, decides... Oh. <laughs> the Widow Mines continuing to gain value as Tanzo has yet to discover Overseer technology. It's just lucky for him that who had a, a, a limit on their production, it seems. Tanzo, flipping furiously through his Prima strategy gun. No, no, you, it's not a new unit. You build it from the Overlords. <gasps> Even a new unit joining the field. Vikings! Yes, the he's only, so far, zero Widow Mines have been lost. Vikings and Zerglings! We're going back down the tech tree for the end times here as the times of plenty have ended who left with as many SCVs as he started with and nothing left to mine Tanzo gonna have a tough time as well the drone count, the battle cruisers drawing it even who will not be able to max out again oh no, the zerglings are ra oh my god ah, the widow mines one 
Oh no. Tonzo is out of minerals. <laughs> oh no. There's a lot of things that could go wrong here. And very few that could go right for Tonzo. Oh no. Well, the mines are dead. And so is the planetary. So, uh... The watchtower. The minerals are gone. There goes a battle cruiser, but Widow Mines on this side! Well, that was possibly... He, he did discover what may have been the least efficient possible way of killing those Widow Mines, but he did, for the first time, kill the Widow Mines. Who? right now seems to be fighting to not lose much more so than win we are very much approaching a draw timer here as the income has stopped the at this point he's retreat who's retreating entirely to his main there are no minerals left the only thing that can be mined is the gas and he doesn't have any extractors in fact he can only build a handful more he actually doesn't have the minerals to build extractors on all these especially not when he builds one more lurker the board is set in this particular chess match it is now no pieces can be replaced oh the supplies can no longer pretty much go up. They can only go down. Who has enough for a couple more marines and maybe a little repair? Tonzo does not have enough for anything but a baneling or an extractor. Here we are. The marines may be a little late to be clearing the creep. Creep tumors do not count for the draw timer. Just... Oh. That is... Oh! Optimistic! It looked for a second like you might be able to slam the boost and get away, but... Then it didn't. <laughs> the upgrades tab is pretty much full. He does have medevac speed. Another, he's fighting the turrets. The turrets are getting some kills. Let's go to the Who action cam as he bunkers up his campaign defenses. Remember the last mission of Wings of Liberty? Well, here we are. Oh no, Widow Mines! I'm a bit optimistic with the Marines. Yet again, who? You can't replace those! How many Banelings are left? Three Banelings. So far, the only method used for killing Widow Mines. So. Ten workers. 128 supply. Much less than that APM. Tanzo keeps... He's bringing the drones with the army. And I mean, at this point. An investor looking for an opportunity. Who? Those are irreplaceable marines. Those little mines are looking very, uh... Dangerous right now. And in faster... Is there detection? There's a turret. There's a turret right there. A 
the creep spreads. There's no queens with which to respread it, and there never will be. So. Here we are. Back where we started. Who moves out? That it that infester is somehow not in turret range. Tanzel. Stalemate detected! And now the moment is upon us. 129 seconds, which in StarCraft time is three minutes. Pre-Legacy of the Void, and that's why it's such a weird number, to be clear. And that will spur everyone into action! Tanzo! The Widowbinds connect and kill Infestors! But he will clear the base, and that will reset the timer! One Marine in production for who? That puts him under 100 minerals. Tanzo. Starting to look less and less capable. He's still on paper, which we haven't used for a long while, has a very winnable army. But who has realized where his biscuit is buttered? And it is as far behind his turrets, widow mines, and planetaries as possible. Tanzo discovers that Broodlords are indeed a seed unit and can be used as such, and this may prompt a response out of who. For the first time, he realizes maybe he didn't need to lose everything to turrets all along. Better late than never. The SCV repairing, spending those precious minerals! Oh no, they're spending minerals repairing the planetary! 60! 58! 50! 40! He's under 50! That's it! The battlecruisers jump! I mean, it, it's getting a little... That was a jump required? Well, he mottos! Out of money. Who can no longer repair? Every point of damage that isn't on marines is permanent. Who is at zero minerals? I don't know if T Tanzo can only build one Bane Lane. Maybe a Ravager, which we've seen zero. Or an Extractor for gas, but what's he gonna do with that gas with no minerals? So, as he drops to 69 average APM. I guess salvaging a bunker, yeah. That's on the table. Unfortunately, you can't salvage Home Depot here. The Widow Mines try to move! Will they get away with it? The Widow Mines, a bolt! Oh, the Broodlings! An Ultra. Zergs do regenerate. One Ultra might actually be able to do it here. We're down to just two Widow Mines. The Ultra wouldn't be wanting a planet to- That Battle Cruiser's jumped back in! It's a little late, though! Is Yamato. Yamato is still on cooldown, actually. As well. <laughs> you did a fly like a pleb? Oh my god, flying is for nerds. What I do is jump in and die like a real... Well. A roach. Not willing to commit. Unfortunately, who's not going to be able to defend his tactical jump is now on cooldown. The SCVs headed, headed out to fight the Roach. The first war was fought with everything. The last war will be Roach versus SCVs. I think the Roach is going to win. Plus three Carapace. Who panics or has decided? It's time. Moves out onto the creep, which is, you know, most of the rest of the map. Here we are. The tanks, of course, remain at home. 
The hatchery is under attack. Tanzo, it's on you. Which direction? Oh no. The widow mines still. Whoa. Oh no. <laughs> there is no home to go back to. Well. The hero tank had survived for over an hour, dies to its brother. The widow mines can act. And a base trade will ensue. The investor's dying to a planetary. Who oh, is right? Is, you can't tactical jump back. I mean, you can tactical jump, but you can't tactical jump Marines. Where did the battle cruisers? They jump back to the main. Both sides clearing out the natural. Vikings working on the uh, overlords. Ah, oh, neural parasite. You gotta get bottom up. A battlecruiser chases down the other battlecruiser. Medivacs fly way too fast for their own good. The battlecruiser flies into the corruptors. The final showdown. The battlecruiser still in the hands of the Zerg. The main base with drones and all. It's unclear whether this... The ultras are stuck on the ramp. It's a traffic jam. There are fully upgraded ultras. The Bailing does terrible, terrible damage. But the Marines are so numerous. The investors have the energy. It's still unclear. Coming up the ramp to save the main. Tanzo needs the Foggles and the force field Foggle on the ramp. Amazing. The Ultra chopping through will go down. It's just investors left. They retreat to the back of the main. There's almost no room. There's almost nothing. But the Foggles are everything. There's nowhere left to go. But who's trapping who? It could... It, everyone may die! Oh, there's not enough... There's one! Big game! He's still got a fungal! The drops! The drops! <laughs> no, the widow boss! Oh no! The investors scamper out! And at the end of the day! The buildings can still fly! What happened to the Vikings? There, there are no more Vikings. There are two widow mines and an SCV. Who? The SCV! There's no realistic way. Who can no longer win the game? It's a draw. It's... It's a draw. Neither side is now capable... Oh, he figured out how to fungal mines at the 13th hour! But the investors cannot kill buildings. And there's not... It's a draw. Unless... No. There's no way. No one is capable... It's over. And that's how it ends. There are no winners. The SCV can fight, but the Broodlings will kill it on the first build. There is no avoiding that. I There is no method that that SCV actually kills all these buildings, let alone in enough time. If who does not lift any of his buildings and the investors kill the final mine, maybe the drone. He's now, who is, really? Like, if this wasn't an hour and 20 minutes of the most evenly mad struggle, you could not have scripted this. This, this is like, if this happened in a movie, it's, it's unrealistic. It's one drone versus one SCV, and then a set of units. And the barracks flies away. That, I think, at the end of the day. Oh my god. I was about to say you could neural parasite the SCV and build a command center, but you need minerals for that.
He fungles the SCV. It dies. That one widow mine is all that remains. The engineering bay will burn. But that drone is the the, the buildings are in the corner. If any game truly deserves it dies. Like I don't want to know what reality looks like if this is scripted. Cause this is an Im imagine. Like, I don't all I also can't believe this is happening. I have seen over fifty thousand StarCraft games. StarCraft 2, to be clear. I've played over fifty thousand. I've seen tens of thousands more. But nothing quite like this. Both players had a an understanding of the game, but just not a strong enough grasp to wield it. They both attempted a, a variety, or at least a couple different strategies, but neither could bring it together in time. And now, the map out of minerals. No workers. And nothing to kill buildings. There is literally nothing else but to wait for a draw. It's over. He can... He's... Microbial shroud... Just press all the buttons. Which he's been doing the whole game. He microbial shrouds. And at the end of the day, by process of utter obliteration, peace. Now we just have to wait for the timer. There has been no chat of any kind throughout this match. 80 minutes. APM reaching zero. Just a silent duel. Until Tanzo breaks the silence. To utter the words that the game will confirm momentarily. It's a draw. I guess so. Agrees who? <sighs> Should be any moment now. Yep. I have three infestors. I can't do anything. The game will end in two minutes. There is. We know. Nothing left. They have just, they have stripped the map of everything and thrown it all at each other over the course of nearly 90 minutes and been left with nothing. What a game. I don't know who sent this in, but Either way, it wasn't who won the game. Well.
I hope you enjoy. Like, subscribe, and thank you for watching. Bronze League Heroes! It's about time.